Hey Beepers, it's Tuesday and I'm Lori and I missed you last week. I am so sorry that I missed making a video. I really, you know me, I love making videos every week. Um, I had a friend in town, I literally had no downtime and then I went right to work. So I didn't really have a lot of time to make one, but this week I'm covering now three questions because this week we have two. Um, last week we talked about being friends with other lesbians and do we believe that it can happen? And I don't know if you noticed, I'm jumping right in. Um, so do I think that two women who are lesbians or who are attracted to women can be friends with each other? Yes, I do. If you say, hey, I may be attracted to you, and you figure out, all right, we're just friends. Like, I think it's, it's a great thing for your friendship because then you're like, you know what, we tried that thing, like five years ago and it was not happening so we are great friends and we can say what we want for each other like what you want for your friend and like you do have the sense that it's like okay it's it's done it's it's played its course like you don't have a curiosity like I think that that's a, actually a very good friend to have but it's always super important to remember that if you're going to hook up with a friend you could potentially lose your friend because if there's a weirdness where one of you likes the other one and then the other one doesn't like the other one, then you could really get your feelings hurt and you could never look at your friend the same way. So if it's worth it to you to pursue that or if you can talk about it enough that it's okay, um, you know, go for it. But just remember that there are always, you know, risks involved with, um, with you know, trying to be more than friends with a friend. So if they're lesbians, like maybe you have to work something out, like maybe in order to be friends with them and not be weird or not be like, you know, putting off the inevitable, just go with it. I mean, maybe as, as soon as you figure it out or maybe talk about it and then get it out of the way and then you can be really great friends for each other because it's great to have, um, I believe it's great to have lesbian friends. Okay, the second question is um, how, or I guess the not question, but a how-to, is how not to be clingy. And I think a lot of times um, women in general, and this is a generalization so it doesn't happen to everyone, but um, women tend to jump in with emotions. They tend to be like, okay, I like you, I'm doing this, you know, and, and just doing a lot of emotional investing right away. It's like I, I feel like a lot of times women are like, you know, I like you, I'm laying it all out, I'm going to make myself vulnerable, and if you treat me well, then we'll continue, but if, you know, I can't feel that way with you, then we won't, and I feel like a lot of times it's just very intense right away, and especially if that's coming, like, both directions, like, from the, you know, from both sides of the relationship, it's, it can be really intense, and so I recommend spending time apart. I recommend not spending every night together, not doing things every day together, not visiting all day, not texting all day. I really recommend like doing like a nice like separation. Like I just gotta have my own time. I just have to keep my own friends. That should always be a priority. Um, even when you're intensely pursuing someone or like, oh my god, I like you so much. I want to spend every day with you. Oh wait, I have my friends too that I was spending every day with when you weren't around. Like you need to remember the people that are important to you because you know, if that girl somehow, believe it or not, might not be there someday, your friends always will be. So you need to make sure that you're there for them so they won't be like, oh, you need me again. So conveniently, we're friends. And then the third question is about, oh my god, I'm going through these so fast. The third question is about reciprocating in the bedroom. And, um, and I know that sometimes, like, okay, so with straight people, and you know, this isn't my area of expertise, but you generally have like a gender role in bed like you know you have like the guy does this the girl does that like sometimes like intercourse is pretty simple but with gay people when you have the same anatomy it's not always easy because you have sometimes situations where there's somebody who is a top and who is a bottom and if you don't know what that means you can google it or you can ask somebody who you think might know the answer to that in some cases, it's like one person is more so into giving than receiving or vice versa. And, um, or versatility is present. But um, that's something that you need to figure out within yourself, like within yourself, like what you like to do or have done to you. 
and um, also who you're dating, you need to know if they what they like. So if it's not happening, if it's not being reciprocated, that's terrible. You need to tell your partner if you are comfortable enough to be intimate with them, you need to be comfortable enough to tell them what you like. And if they're not reciprocating to you, that's really not fair if that's what you want. Like you need to say, listen, I know this isn't your usual role or I would really like it if you did this. Like just communication is so huge. If you are feeling like you're in a position where you would like to be intimate with somebody or where you have been intimate with somebody, you need to make it known what what you what that entails to you. But um but like I always say, you need to be ready for this. Being intimate with somebody is not just a casual thing. You need to be you need to be happy. And you don't have to have sex to be happy and you don't have to be intimate to be happy. But if you're going to do those things, then you should be happy with the things that you're doing, I guess. Um, okay, this is a long video, but I covered three topics and I missed one week. So I hope that you bared with me and I am thankful if you did. Um, but I will see you next Tuesday and I missed you guys. All right, bye.